We're continuing to follow developments in California's homeless crisis. We're getting answers after Caltrans cleaned up two different Sacramento homeless encampments within two weeks. And this happened all while city housing spaces were at capacity. ABC 10's Lena Howland spoke with the mayor and a Caltrans official. On September 29th, Caltrans bulldozers pushed tents, beds, and coolers aside as folks who lived there watched from the other side of W and 9th. The same thing happened six days later near 29th and F streets underneath Capital City Freeway. But each person being removed that we spoke with had the same question. Where do we go? No officials seem to have answers for that, as city shelters are all at capacity. So knowing that the city shelters, the safe ground camping areas, and the motel voucher program are at capacity right now, why are these cleanups still happening? I don't know. I mean, that's that's a Caltrans decision, and I'm inquiring. Believe me, that's why I'm uh, in touch uh, at the highest levels. But Caltrans says the ball is actually in the city's court. Well, where do these folks go? And that's not that's a political solution to that problem, and, and I don't have a comment on that. The department doesn't weigh in one way or another. Just simply have to keep the route safe and operational. If Caltrans has an operational need, to move people from where they need to begin work, that should be timed with the availability of alternative sites. And that's what I'm going to, am working on. The city's $100 million plan to address homelessness involves building more than 20 new sites for shelter around the city, five of which fall within Caltrans jurisdiction under the WX freeway between 18th and 24th. Some of it requires Caltrans and FTA approval. Some of it requires the placement of the infrastructures. We also are willing to enter into lease agreements with the city. That takes a little time. Right now, it's it's on their it's in their court to uh, to file the paperwork and to begin the lease. So, who is really responsible? Obviously, the buck stops with me. I can assure you and everyone that I am working day and night with the city officials to get these projects under the comprehensive siting plan up and running as quickly as possible. So on and on we go, as I think you can take from Lena's package. Caltrans has a job to do. They're on a schedule. It's been established for a while, and they have to move people out because they're doing bridge and road work. Then the mayor is like, hey, you know, um, I don't have a place to put them. That's not Caltrans's deal. Mm -hmm. The mayor is frustrated because the uh, ho homeless voucher situation isn't resolved. There's no place to put the homeless. Yeah. So again, this is a situation where everything is falling through the cracks. Yeah, it's really just tough. And meanwhile, Caltrans has given the city another notice about an encampment removal, which should happen by the 15th. So a lot going on here, and we'll keep you updated as things change.